Hey guys, this is Shelby on Shelby's Edge. This is episode 8 of Wizard 101 Tips and Tricks. I just hit level 12, so there's a few things I need to do and get out of the way. I need to uh, get my next uh, crafting recipe going, and I need to do some gardening, and I think there was a few other things I needed to do, but those are the main ones I'm going to hit on at this point of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to uh, Professor Winthrop real quick. You and Malcolm found the keystone. Splendid. We have the key to the palace now. Go inside and help Lieutenant Standish clear the way into the throne room. Alrighty, I'm going to put my mark here. And I need to go home. I need to talk to the life teacher. I think my teacher. Yeah, because she had another spell ready for me. And I believe it'll be a... a spell that I get uh, doing a quest. Let's see. I'm going to go talk to the life teacher so we can start gardening because that's very, very important. Green acres. As the professor of life <laughs> magic, it falls to me to tell you about a wonderful new activity available to students. I speak of gardening. Students at Ravenwood can plant and grow amazing plants in their dormitory rooms or castles. Wizards of all schools can garden. So my hope is that every student will learn the joy of shepherding new life. There is so much to learn about gardening, and I know just the person to teach you. Seek out Farley in Gollum Court. Okay, so we'll do that one. I'll go to my ice teacher. Oh, yeah. Ice is over here. Yippers. To gain your next ice spell, you must gather reagents. It will be most challenging, but necessary in order to advance. You will need to take this bottle and fill it below the waterfall on Triton next to the water wheel. There the water is light and airy. From there you will travel to Colossus, where Mindy will create a water of fame for you. Um, I have four training points right now. Okay, I'm not gonna do Triton Avenue quite yet. I'm gonna go to Golem Court. Golem Court's right over here by the fairgrounds. This is the quest for gardening. Now, I'm not gonna listen to all of this tutorial. I found when I first started gardening, it didn't really explain to me how to do it. So I'm just gonna show you how. That's the easiest way. I had to like mess around with stuff till I figured it out. So I'm just gonna go through this really, really fast. <laughs> if you guys actually want to uh, listen to it, you can. Um, I gotta go talk to Blossom now near the life school. That's the tree. Here's Blossom. Good day to you. She's explaining a few things. Now we gotta go back to Golem Court, which is this way. Okay, he'll go through this really lengthy tutorial oh, that, that I do Fantastic. not want to listen to. Yeah, Blossom gave us a seed, by the way. Then we gotta go here and press X and talks about the different phases of the plants and what you have to do for them. And when they get to Elder, that's always good because that's what gives you the most crap. And then we got the... oh. Gotta talk to him before we talk to the dead plants. So, there we got dead plant. plant. It's wilting, gonna die. When it's dead, it's a pain in the butt because it takes Take like 30 two unhealthy plants of the mana. Oh, uh, I did that already. This plant. Oh. There we go. This takes five minutes or more to do. If you actually uh, listen to the tutorial, I mean, some people might yeah, find it beneficial, you know. Um, you're going to want to train in as much of these as you can, all of them if possible. If you have the gold, 
Except for the last one. I think you need to be ranked. Yeah, you need to be ranked two for the last one. You need all of these if you're going to garden. So, yeah, yeah. You have to you have to train in them all. It's just a hundred gold, gold each. So, it's not like terrible. Okay. Did that. Gonna go to the dorm room. I'll show you how to garden. Okay. With the dorm rooms comes two pots. This is all I do to start with. I mean, you can buy more pots from the guy, too. The ones lit up are the only ones you can do. The dark ones, you can't. Those are rank twos. So you got a bunch of rank ones here. You can see it has rewards there and challenges. You get things from these. Obviously, you want the ones with the more rewards, if possible. Um, I'm seeing if I have any decent ones. I do not. Okay, so I'm just going to do the Angora bunny ears for now. Why is it not? Oh, I forgot about that. So, what kind of plots are these? Are these small then? I thought they were medium. Well, let's see if they're small. Oh, they're small. Because you see that green check mark? It means you can plant it. I couldn't tell if they're medium or small. So we need two plants with small plots. Because it tells you what they like and what they don't. Um, with that one, I forgot to see what it liked. Um, like, this one likes baby carrots. It dislikes stinkweed. This is the disparagus. Uh, let's see. That's a medium plot. This is a small plot. It dislikes stinkweed. It likes snapdragons. But I'm going to do this one. Um, now, if you have, like, garden gnomes, that will help them get to elder quicker. Where you look is under decoration. You'll have garden gnomes and different things. I do not have those. I could go to the bazaar and get them, but I'm pretty sure you can buy garden gnomes from the gardener in Golem Court. You can buy more pots, too. It's in the housing shop. Um, okay, under the decorations, the garden gnomes... Almost every plant likes these. Okay, so I could buy one. You can buy a small pot. You can buy a small enchanted and medium. I really need to buy some mediums, but I don't have enough gold. I have 144 gold. And here you can buy different plants. Boom shrooms are good. You want to plant those with uh, evil magma peas. Okay, so I got that done. Now I need to finish the quest for my teacher. And then um, talk to Alhazared, I think, um, in Crocotopia for my uh, for my crafting quest. You know, I'll get gold with questing, and gardening will help. But usually, it takes at least three days to uh, get a plant to elder and have it really pay off. But I'll get a little bit of gold from my crafting quest too, because I finished my the one before, so then I'll need to start another one. Okay, I'm doing the quest for my school teacher for another spell. So I'm on Triton Avenue to go to the waterfall. It is so neat what they did with Triton Avenue. Uh, it's a toss-up between Triton Avenue and Firecat Alley on which one I like best, but I'm gonna have to say I like Triton Avenue best. Firecat Alley looks really awesome too, but uh, oh, I need this quest for later. I think. Oh, I haven't opened up. Wow, I forgot about that one. I haven't opened up the underwater place where Waterworks is at. Now I need you to gather some straw. I think I saw I'll some. Have to field do that later too. The Here's the waterfall. I have to go over you here. You collect the foamy water created by the waterfall. Well, now that I've gotten water from the waterfall in Triton Avenue, now I have to go talk to Mindy in Colossus Boulevard. She should be right over here. My arrow is kind of lying to me for a little bit there. That's so sweet of my uncle to send you. I'm so glad you came too. I've been doing some ice research for Professor Grey Rose, but I had to stop. I really need your help. So, Lydia has you on a spell quest. I can help you if you have a bottle of Triton water. Just give me a moment. She pours the water into her hands and is able to mold it into an athame. 
There you go. A water thing. It's stable for now, but you'll now have to find someone more powerful than I to forge it into an ice thing. I would go to the ice tower across from the ice school. Something should be waiting for you inside. Okay, now I need to go to the ice tower in Ravenwood. I love what they did with the Ravenwood too, though. It looks really nice. You feel a cold wind fill the room, as if from the giants themselves. Which spell am I going to get? I thought I was going to get an Ice Blade, but now I'm not for sure. Oh, I bet you I'm going to get a Convert. I bet. Uh, might want that one. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to hit him with that first. gonna try to get some spells that aren't ice spells um I do have this one for four I think I'll wait for that one because <coughs> he's gonna have resist from any of my ice spells since he is an ice <coughs> so I'd rather hit him with something that's other than ice You have proven that you are worthy to be in the School of Ice. I will now freeze your water athame to aid you in your quest. Now you must take it to one who knows the ancient arts. Go now to Kelvin. Who the heck is Kelvin? Oh, Kelvin is the ice tree. <laughs> Go figure. Looks like the giants found favor in you, my friend. Now you will need to go back to the statue next to Mindy Pixie Crown on Colossus Boulevard. Really? Once there, an ice minion will visit you and give you the power words you will need for creating your spell. Okay, now to go talk to Mindy again. You feel the air turn very chilly. You hold the ice blade aloft. Oh. Student of ice, with this blade, you have proven yourself worthy of the next spell. Go now to your school and speak these words. Ricket, Jeffy, Lacola. <laughs> That's too cute. Okay, I guess I go back home to my school. Now, with the ice ethane and the words of power, we can create a helpful spell. As you speak the words, the air around you turns bone-chillingly cold. You hold up the ice athame and slice at the air. A spell card appears as your ice athame disappears. It is done. Take this new spell, young wizard, and use it in times of dire need. Okay, it's ice prism. Okay, good deal. Which I will need real soon, I'm sure. So, okay, we got that. Once I get to level 15, I'll be able to get a better deck. Um, right now my deck sucks. Um, it's, I have max spells is 20 with max copies of 3 and 8 sideboards. Not very good, but what can you do? Okay, so we started gardening. Um, I got my next spell from my ice teacher. I need to finish up my crafting. So, I'm gonna go to Crocotopia. And I always have trouble finding this fella. Um, he is over here. Oh, it's not Al Hazared. I don't know why I was thinking that. This is Bull Yam, if I'm saying that right. Hmm. Are you thirsty for knowledge? I can help. Ringing in the new. So, Miss Dangletree sent you to me, hey? From the looks of you, you're still a novice crafter. Only able to craft one thing at a time before resting. Under my teaching, you'll earn another crafting slot. You'll be able to craft two items at once. I need you to go and make two rings of insight to demonstrate to me that you know what you're doing. Bring them back to me, and we'll talk. Okay. 
So I'm going to do two rings of insight. It's going to give me 825 gold, which is decent. Um, I got to buy the spell from him now. So I got to go to the recipe shop. Okay, ring of insight. Oh, not enough gold to buy it. Too funny. Well, I think I have most of these things in my shared bank. So I guess after I've uh, quested a little bit, Unless I have things to sell. You never know. I might have a few things to sell. Let's see. It's kind of cool looking. I don't know if I want to sell that, to be honest. I usually sell most of this crap. Um, I don't need that much more uh, gold. I don't want to sell that. I can always get more of those, I suppose. Okay, I got enough gold now. So, Ring of Insight. Ring of Insight, and buy that. Okay, Parchment will find. A stone block will find. A simple vial. Uh, I think we have to make two of those, so we need 12 of those and six citrine. This is the guy that you buy it from. Um, let's see, citrine. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I just need six. Well, I'll have to look. Um, simple vial. Simple vial. Well, that's all I'm going to be able to buy right now anyways. Um, let's see. So six of those, but I need 12, and actually I need, need six more simple vials and parchment and stone blocks, so uh, I'll go ahead and go and see if I have those in my shared bank. I probably do. I think uh, it's going to have a waiting period of at least 10 minutes. I can't remember what the waiting period is on this one. Um, shared bank. I like to put this, uh, these kind of things in my shared bank so that all of my characters can, can use these. Um, I need six more. Wait. Eh, I probably have enough, but just in case. And then this is an alphabetical order, thank God. Oh, I need stone block. I'll just put them all in there. Um, simple vial. Here we go. What do I need? Like six more? And then parchment. Parchment. I should have enough. I think I can craft this. Um, I go over to my crafting table here. Ring of insight. Because I know I have to craft two of them. So I'm going to create... How long is it going to make me wait? Mm, yeah, 10 minutes. And then I will do the next one. So, while I'm waiting for that, I really should find all the smiths. Okay, I'll do the Ravenwood smiths real quick. Yeah, this episode's more of a tying up loose ends. Then next episode I'll start questing again. I think, yeah, the smith in Ravenwood is back here. So I need that extra training point. So I do want to find all my smiths. Here he is. Okay, my next smith will be Golem Court Smith. He is somewhere over here. Here he is. Found him. Where's the next one at? Shopping district. The shopping district smith is in a weird place. I always have trouble finding it. There's a place you go behind the bushes. Amber's found it for me a few times on my other characters because it really is uh, hard to find. <laughs> I think it's back behind here. Oh! They changed it. 
Um, it's easier to find now. There's like a very noticeable opening. So I found him. I don't think that tree was there before. Huh. Weird. Okay. The next one will be Old Town. Here we go. Old Town is through here. And I don't think he's in a hard place here. But oh, he should be over here. Yeah, of course. Found him. Then I probably just have a Colossus Boulevard one. Uh, Cyclops Lane. Triton Avenue. Wow. I haven't really found much of them. Okay, Cyclops Lane is next. Be over here. Where is this fella gonna be? Been a while um, since I found the Cyclops Lane one. Usually, I find them as I'm questing, but I obviously wasn't looking too hard when I was questing on this character. He's always on the grassy parts. By the time I'm done finding the smiths, I should be able to craft my second one. I think he's on the other side of this. I think he's- ah, oh, here, I found him. He's over here. Yeah, he's in a Cyclops lane over by where these tents are at and stuff. Okay, my next one. Triton Avenue Smith. Go through the shopping district. Go to Oldie Town. I'm not really for sure where it's at. Found these on five other characters. At least. Maybe six. I think it's on the other side. Oh no. I know where it's at. It's over here, by the waterfalls. I was thinking of a different place. Now, Colossus Boulevard, and then we are done finding the smiths, and I can finish my last uh, crafting quest. Colossus Boulevard is it's in a tricky place. Okay, it's a pain in the butt to get to, but it's far, far away. So I gotta go through here. I love the different noises it makes, whether it's in the snow. Like you can hear the snow sound and, and these guys are running. Very realistic. They definitely put effort into this. I think it's in the castle. Maybe I have to go a little further yet. Must be over here yet. I know it's in a weird spot, and you have to go really far to find it. Yeah, it's over by this castle, I think. Okay, this is where it's at, is in this big castle. He should be over here. Yeah. Last smith, yay! By this big castle. Does the Gobbler King live over here? Pretty sure the Gobbler King lives there. Okay, now I'm gonna go to Zeke and uh, get my training point. I think that'll put me at five training points now. <laughs> well, Tarnation, you found them all! I find a good home for them, don't you worry. Here's a little reward for helping me out. You're more than deserving for all your assistance. Look me up if you ever wanted to spiral. Alrighty, I gained some golden training point and I yep I have five training points and 110 gold <laughs> now I need to go back home finish crafting that and talk to the crafting fella okay, ring of insight create okay so gotta talk to wool ya in or I'm not even sure how to say that Almost to level 13 after doing all of that. Good work. Those rings show you've got an excellent eye for detail and a steady hand. Here's how you can become a better craftsman. William shows you how to concentrate and make two items at once. Okay. Now, a set of steak knives is you've the next quest. You've clearly got some aptitude for. I think you're ready for your final exam. This will be a working test, showing the quality and consistency of your work. 
For that, I'll need you to make me two poniards of gallantry. When you're finished, bring them back to me and I'll examine them. If they're up to my standards, I'll award you an apprentice crafter badge. Okay, poniard of gallantry. Hopefully I have enough gold. I probably don't. Oh, I do have enough gold. Oh yeah, he just gave me gold, that's why. So I'll need some jade, simple vial, deep mushroom, stone block. Those two I can collect around. These two I'll need to buy. So, um, I need jade and a simple vial. Bite from this guy. Um, jade. Simple vial. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, I need five more jade. Six just for good measure. I will worry about those later. Um, okay, so now I guess Lieutenant Standish is one that I need to talk to. What else did I need to tie up? So I got those done. Um, Okay guys, this is Shelby on Shelby's Edge. Thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely uh, leave a like if you like this video. Leave some comments down below. Please do subscribe and I will see you next video.